the numbers are ticking over. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Nat. With the exercise, we're going to start with uh, an abdominal exercise. Firstly, put your arm on the floor, tucking your tummy underneath, flatten your back, pelvic block, draw the belly button in so these muscles are nice and firm. Leg out, breath out, leg in, breath in. Leg out, breath out, leg in, breath in. Leg out, breath in, breath, in, breath out, leg in, breath in. We go through and do those 50 reps. Then we'll get you'll include another one, um, which was your side lift, 100 repetitions into that position. Make sure your knee, hip, and shoulder are aligned. On all fours, flatten your back, pull your pelvic front, belly button in, leg out, breath out, leg in, breath in, leg out, breath out, leg in, breath in. If you want to make that a bit more difficult, you can put some elastic around your knees. stability to keep that stomach pulled in and lower back flat don't arch it and 50 reps each side you're going to do your elastic for your glutes walking forwards and backwards for two minutes you do some sideways walking two minutes sideways keep the feet a distance apart and don't move your hips two minutes each of those i'm happy in the gym to just pop over here. Your lower back, sorry, on your leg press. You need to make sure with this one you keep a nice arch lower back. What's going to be better for your knee is don't let it come so far up. We're going to get you to work uh, from full extension to about 45 degrees, one legged. But we want you to work on full extension. Don't go short of full extension and don't flick it. Let's squeeze full extension and up to 45 degrees with a high load. So you can be doing higher than 50 to 64 kg. And again, in all range, like so. Um, what I'd like you to have a look at, just follow me over here, is when you're doing your squats, I actually want you to keep quite good back extension. So I want you to make sure you don't worry about flattening your back. We'll put more pressure through your disc. So you need to keep quite good back extension throughout this. I know you've been putting something underneath your heels. So you've had you had a training shoe, but probably at the beginning, two weights in that position just helps you get down into a better position like so. Um, we. Uh, happy to stretch through the front of your hip into this position because you've got tight hips. And I'm happy to do a one up, one down. Hip flexor stretch to the front of your hip. And we'll talk to you next time about your shoulders. Thanks.